Right. Are you on defense or offense here? I'm in defense. Okay. Um. Yeah, this is the problem with the orc thrower, see? Because now you're, you're stuck with having to put... He's my most valuable player. I should put him right here. <laughs> yeah, you can... it means you're going to have to put a black orc on the yellow west, doesn't it? I think I would keep them. I don't know if it's good or not to spread them out on the, on the LOS. I mean, if you keep them together, they can they can block off other players with a source to free their source. But then, you know, if you keep them if you keep them apart, then they might. You, obviously, what you want is you want um, a Saurus isolated on an Orc lineman because he's armor nine. And he can just be getting up every turn. So I guess, yeah, maybe just keeping them apart is a good idea, actually. Yeah. Get bribes. Well, that's probably good for you because you can just kill all the skinks now. <laughs> or maybe a Saurus. <laughs> oh, wow, brilliant. Sweet one in nine first block. All part of the plan. Mm. That was bad of him to not get a three dice, but then on the other hand, he he got to hit the. Uh... Oh wow! He, 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 it was a loner reroll as well, wasn't it? What a madman! Um. The troll for the orcs, I don't hate it. It gives you more strength, more guard. Um, the only problem is it gives you more TV as well. Uh, and it makes you slower, which isn't isn't great against elves. So... I think it's, it's, it's it is good in like a, a bashy environment, but then... Um, you know, it brings you closer to claw, which isn't fun. Okay, so is everything just going to be uh, post post move now? All all the advice that, that should be it. Shouldn't it commentate on the actual game rather than play the game? <laughs> So what is your plan for this turn, Last Frogman? Try to screen and slow him down. Right. Okay. So I'll try and kind of stay silent on the air. Uh... Throw some tips in, you know. Yeah. It's tough because I don't want to just say, do this, do that, do that, you know. So. 
I, because it's I'm not playing against you, I can't see where you're intending them to go. Uh, which would be a hard thing. Yeah, so that's okay, but the uh Oh god, that's really okay. Like that's the obvious guy to blitz. Um Blitz the other guy near the sideline be in danger of getting surfed. Or something bad happening. The stun would be a good time to commit a lot of men, but then having a black hawk stunned as well is not so good for that. But it could still be the play. Um the assist with the Lyman I don't like so much because I would like the Lyman to be fighting a Saurus because you know what I mean if you're gonna get two dice, that's a good idea. You kind of want to get your Saur your Black Orcs on Saurus so they're at least like you know equal strength. You definitely the 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 main thing as Orcs against Lizard Men is you don't want your Blitzers fighting Saurus because you know you, you essentially want everyone else matched up one for one. And then you've got four blitzers to hunt their four skinks. Um, so if they, if they can if they can get you know Saurus on on blitzers, you're in you're in pretty bad shape. Yeah. Yeah, but ma ma making him roll dice at this point is pretty good. Yeah, get getting it getting a bit in his face because he has he's already down to one reroll. Or every block from now is going to be, you know, not not so exciting for him. Um, keeping everything screened off here, more or less. Maybe he's a couple of squares forward with a throw would have been good to keep it, you know, more of a screen because now it looks like. You know, a bit weak. Wow, and a root roll is now. <laughs> oh. Looking too bad. That's unbelievable. Yeah, maybe, maybe this. Uh, yeah, so, so you want to stay if you've got the stream open here. You know, I, I like kind of staying roughly where they are, like parallel. So this guy is maybe a bit too far out. So if he was over here, I think yeah, this blitzer. Dr. Mama Bosco over here. I mean, it's maybe what I would have done. Um, everything else is pretty much okay. I mean, to be fair, low TV is a lot more base all men's hope for the best than high TV is. So. Oh, down. Oh my god. Chose the skull, is he gonna come to me? <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Right, so you've gotta get an assist in for the uh for the black hawks who's got three dice. And Oh okay, actually first thing sorry I say I don't wanna just say uh, the first thing I would do is actually stand up the black hawk and base the crocs so that the crocs is based up. Um it's not the best to be doing it with a black hawk. It would be better to do it with a lineman, but um, you know the the the, the black hawk can't do anything else. Anyway, I'll try not to completely play <laughs> play the game. Um, but yeah, I think you have to. The first thing you have to do is, oh, where which square is he in? All right, yeah, you could do that. I was going to say the first thing you have to do is block this Saurus, but you didn't because he wasn't. He's out of the square. On this. Head coach. That's crazy. Right. So I've got a few options here. You could. You could try to knock over this Saurus with a block and then surf the Skink. Uh, blitz the Skink, or you could try to surf that Saurus. I think that would throw it was in a good spot to assist with the Saurus at problem. Because this this Blitzer, Dr. Mombosco, could have gone for that assist if, if that's what he wanted to do. Uh, it's okay. Obviously, an amazing spot right now. On, cast the Skink. Man. 
just kill the skins. Watching this guy go. Hmm. See, th that there was the obvious move. Put the lineman in because you've got a lineman, lineman on Saurus, which is really good. The only problem this creates is this Blitzer has now got a GFI to help with that, that of the Saurus. Or just not GFI. I guess you just have to one dice this Saurus to get another good team and one dice. Yeah, I think I would have played that a bit different. I think I would have, uh, I would have got the the orc thrower in. To assist with that, make it a 2D, and then either surf the Saurus or, uh, or blitz that skink near the ball, you know, and try to. I guess blitzing the skink near the ball is too dangerous. If you push, you get surfed. Um, I think so my I guess plays I'm, weren't terrible. Yeah, it wasn't terrible. I mean, it's terrible for him. <laughs> Using both re rolls and then taking the scum to the board down. But uh, no, it wasn't terrible at all. I would have uh, I would have followed that block, though, because you powered him, you know. Now you've let a. Uh, Movement six guy go around and do something. Even though you don't want, even though you don't want the blitzes on the Saurus, you'd have had him on the sideline and uh, he would have dictated where his blitz was going, or you'd have to leave him down. So definitely should have followed that that block there. I think. Yeah, exactly. Look, Callum's what he said you're getting. You, you, I mean, well, okay, he didn't say getting diced, but it looked like he said it looked like diced. Um, dice is a funny thing, isn't it? Because some people could have the same, you know, people could have the same dice and they'd still be getting okay. diced. But some people could play it differently to make it not as impactful, like him choosing the skull there and stuff. Um, there's just no need for it, there? I can get, can get some glorious action here. Oh, that that fucking Crocs being stupid is just unbelievable. Alright, so you can get a few players around the ball, like Blitzers and Lyman and everything, and then Blitz the Skink, and see what happens. So I'd love it when stupid again, if you just didn't activate it. It was a ballsy handoff though, wasn't it? I think I'd get that black oak into the action. Mm, I think also maybe I would have uh, I would have gone for the scat on the ball there. You know, to try and get it in zero tackle zones. <laughs> You can always go for a late turn pickup with maybe this blitzer. Mm. Yeah, I think I think the right play there was to move the black orc in and then blitz with uh, who's this blitzer here? Johnny Five diagonally put him onto the ball, get a scatter, and then see if you could pick up with this uh, other blitzer at the end there. Uh, Dr. Warren Bosco, you know, get, get it in the no dackle zones. But it's hard, isn't it? It's hard. It's, it's really hard to say any anything's wrong or anything's right in Blood Bowl. Because <laughs> just, you know, dice gonna dice, isn't it? And there's pros and cons to everything. I'll just try and do it after. I think I'm gonna go for the pickup. Two GFIs for the pickup. Yeah. I would move the uh, black orc around first, 
uh, you know, just to the other side of the Crocs. So he's still, the Crocs is still based, but he's on the, you know, your player's on the right side kind of thing. Up to here, if the black hole's there, then that's a, that's a pretty good cage for him. This black hole could come in to the Saurus. This blitzer could mark two Saurus. On the other side, you can kind of put as much pressure on as possible before going for the pick up. Thanks for the host, Space Cadet 404. Hello again, Jelly Jelly Deals. We roll it. Oh man. Glorious! <laughs> Ballsy. Um, yeah, it's not bad, is it? And then can go for a punch with a black oak. Ooh, didn't didn't activate the black oak bit. This this black oak could have had uh, two dice. Uh, the last frogman, funnily enough, could have gone for a two dice in somewhere. I wonder why he's bad. <laughs> but yeah, that wasn't easy. You made the easy free up there. It was hard to stop that free because you could have just stood him up and. Uh, even if this guy was down, he could have still stood him and done that. So I think I wouldn't have gone for the reroll there just because he's got two dice without Saurus pretty easily. There was no real way to stop that. Things. I don't know how I don't know how fast did the fast coaching. I never watched it to be honest. <laughs> yeah, that's see, that's the that's the orc thrower that got that KO. <laughs> because, because that could have been an orc lineman basically, and uh, but. Unfortunately, ended up being the black hole, didn't it? Yeah, he did just go for one dice on the ball instead of two. Yeah. I just one down. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, Jeff. If he makes the pick up here, this is going to be a nine as fuck, isn't it? At least he can't re-roll it though, because he's got none left. I didn't even try. Oh wow. Well... <laughs> the orc throw is free. <laughs> He probably just wants to uh, lend an assist to somebody who punches Saurus at the end of the turn. And then got three guys to uh, punch this Saurus and uh, make a recovery afterwards. Could be a bit of a skink. Annoying that you can't deal with the Crocs now. Mm. Could try Want to try and stick the lineman on him, I guess. If you can. Well, to do that, really, it would need the lineman to make the blitz, wouldn't it? Instead of a, instead of a blitzer, which is a bit suboptimal. But then the payoff is quite good if he, if it works, isn't it? Yeah. 
watch it. <laughs> That's the thing, see the blitzer would have got the knockdown. But wouldn't have had the payoff of the of the lineman blitz. So it's it's not obvious. Could just go for the dodge pickup. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, I wouldn't hate it. Yeah, she well could could have used the the blitz at the blitz with, but yeah, I didn't like the reroll there. I didn't really didn't like the reroll on on that hit. Um, but if you use the blitz at the blitz, then it means that you don't get to base the crocs with a lineman. I think basing the crocs with a lineman is really good. I think you've got a potato now, or or at least try to go over, maybe over the side here. Um, because it's really, you know, you're in a real struggle to protect it from the uh, crocs right now. Yeah, maybe here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, GFI makes it. Uh, you can base with the crocs. But that's all. The Crocs is scary, so... Yeah, I'd stop there. It's scary enough with <laughs> making another joke. The bad thing is, Skinks can just mob him here, but just one dodge to get two dice with Skinks. But... It probably stops the Crocs getting in the mix, which is good. Probably a net gain, the fact that the, the Crocs isn't in there. So that's, that's pretty safe from the crocs. The only way the crocs gets in now is by blitzing somebody. Also, this means that, like, three in there means that the ball can't go in the crowd, which is probably good. Isn't it? There's not really a. Well, you don't have to. Looking too bad here for his drive. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good, and you don't even have to dodge out. Like, although that's tricky to dodge away from, you don't even have to. You can just blitz, blitz one of the skinks with a blitzer, and then block the other skink with that blitzer. You know, and the crocs is is held up. Uh, it's not so good, though, is it? Oh, that is a that is a bad play by him, I think. I was giving you an easy two dice on that Saurus. Rolling a lot of Jim Powers. Yeah, he is, yeah. <laughs> Everything that he hasn't won in 90s just Jim Powers. <laughs> hmm. Oh, the dice. A nice series of blocks from there, to be fair. 2D and a 2D and a 2D. Oh, no one in there. <laughs> it was a guy getting KO'd. Oh, God. <laughs> right, this is this is a huge, huge play here. Is Orc th Well, stand up the Black Orc first. Say who's first. Don't ever forget that. <laughs> um, right. Got a block with, block with the Orc Thrower. Um, and then a push is is safe then, isn't it? Because you can you can push him, you know, out 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 completely. Then just need a push. This is great now because now you've isolated one of his best players onto your worst player, <laughs> and then I would, I would just go directly forward three with the uh, with the curve goal there, the lineman. So he's he's basing the uh, skink and the saurus there. 
that lets you get two dice with a blitzer on the Saurus, which is just amazing, really. Uh, obviously, under this under this Saurus, which frees the lineman and the oh shit, yeah. Okay, well, I would have gone on onto the other Saurus, which would have freed up two players. Now the lineman can punch him, so it, it's okay. It's okay actually. There's some payoff there. Like even even though that isn't what I would have done, it's there's still payoff there because now with this lineman block, gets you the blitzer onto a sort onto a skink. Oh, there's that one. Oh, that's even better. Yeah. Oh. I saw it. Well done. Well done. Um, so yeah, now you obviously just blitz blitz a skink with a, with a blitzer and then block the other skink with a blitzer as well. And you could even surf a skink, couldn't you? Could you? Hmm. Not easy, you'd have to one dice it, which I wouldn't risk. But if you wanted to risk it, you could go for a surf. It was gone. <laughs> oh shit. Hey, -ho. hey Yeah, that is way better. I didn't even see it. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? It's funny not even seeing things, then it's way better. So you Thinking do get, about you the do... dodge out for the score. No, oh, no, 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 no. Just punch a skink. That's the skink. Yeah, just just kill him. Kill the skinks. That's 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 all you've got to do. <laughs> He's gonna get a one dice at you, but he's got a dodge, and it hasn't. And he hasn't got a block, and you've still got three guys there to pick up the ball and score anyway. Yeah, didn't even see that one. It's funny, isn't it? But um, like that's the thing you do get tunnel vision yourself when you when you're playing. You think, oh, I'll just do that and do that and do that, and I didn't even see that. So yeah, very good, my frog man. I learned from the best. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All he's got is the is the dodge for a one day. Oh no, he's not. He's gonna. He's not even gonna. He's just gonna get more bang done. Oh. Model was hidden behind the box here. Yeah. Hmm. Right, so obviously the zero rerolls is a is a huge concern now. Um, also, the crocs could blitz to get the tail in. So if you just want to make sure of the score, I would say block with the other blitzer, and then uh, blitz with a ball carrier blitzer and score. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah, I think that's that's the safest thing. You can't not punch skinks. It's just a shame you don't get three dice on him. I mean, I guess there was an argument for trying to score earlier to try and go 2-0 up, but I think it's a bit risky. You know, he has been unlucky. He does have zero rerolls, so there would have been the chance of going 2-0 up, but Orcs are slow as fuck, so it's not great, is it? Might want to go 
Hmm. Try to stop the skinks breaking through now. Somehow just some kind of line, you know. Uh, ten players, I don't know. Some kind of for wider formation maybe. Yeah, the crocs would make it very difficult next turn. Yeah. There's no need to, apart from it's fun. I'm just saying you could, if it was like Dark Elves or whatever in that situation, you would have scored earlier. For sure, to try and go 2 0 up. Maybe you could have screened the props. What if he makes a 5 plus dodge, though? You've got no rerolls. You know, it's like. I, I think safety first is, is absolutely fine in that situation. Thank you. I'll definitely make it. Uh, I'll definitely make it. You know, symmetrical. But I think the formation doesn't really matter that much. I'll probably go two back in case of. Uh, you don't want to get fucked by a quick snap, I guess. So, you want to keep the. Uh, the closest guy's two back. But, um, yeah, and just make it symmetrical. However, like, probably, you probably only want one black oak on the LOS, don't you? So maybe put him in the middle. And then, uh, if you're doing that, you've, you've got to put the throw further forward because otherwise that's just a, a huge gaping hole in the centre, isn't it? I think I would put the the second line, like so. You've got the front line of those three. I'd make the second line just like uh, you know, blitzer space blitzer space black oak, space thrower space th black oak, space blitzer space blitzer. So they're just all you know in a straight line across. If you see what I mean. Running out of time though. Uh oh, Orc Thrower in danger. Uh, yes, yeah, so if the Orc Thrower could have stayed in the middle, but then, you know, the the Blitzers and the Black Orcs go one square out, so it would just be a straight line across. I use that defence quite a lot with, like, Elves or whatever when you're one man down. Just, just a line straight across. I was going to place the fucking ball there on the kick. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, well, you got a reroll. Pretty big. Oh yeah, of course, of course, Oaks are happy to go on one nil. Up. But I'm just mean. I'm just saying, if you wanted to go two nil up on their drive, that would be the that would be the only reason to score earlier than that. That's what I was trying to say. That's for a Hello, Evil Cornetto. Oh, that's a good name. Look, first block. Hey, look, I, I went first block Ogre a few times. I mean, when you've got no rerolls left, you might as well. <laughs> uh, Although he does have a reroll now. And he didn't make it, it was, wasn't to make it three dice. I think it's a lot better if it's a three dice one. But it wasn't. No, he didn't even try to score. Wow. Outrageous. Outrageous. So I guess what you do doesn't really matter now. He's not going to score. Literally. You're probably not going to score. I guess you could try. You could try running down. A, uh, with no rerolls though. Oh no, one reroll. You could try running down at scoring threat blitzers. Uh, 13, 14, 15 squares away. So they'd have to make... They'd both have to make a GFI this turn. And you'd have two scoring threats and you could try to go 2-0 up. But 
Don't have to. Could just I, try. Could I just go for some blocks? You could. You've got a. You've got a bribe as well, haven't you? You could just uh, knock over a. Yeah, I gotta go for a foul. Yeah, knock over a source and do a big gang foul. That seems pretty good. Yeah, exactly, Wolfpack. This is the thing. This is this is the problem. This game here is the problem for new players. Um, <laughs> because this guy with his lizard man has been really unlucky to roll one in nines for the first few blocks. But, yeah, he has also not played well. So he's going to be thinking he's just really unlucky, whereas, yeah, he hasn't helped himself. GFI for plus three foul. Is it worth? I remember it's just worth keeping the bribe for the second half, actually. <laughs> okay, oh, if he stays out, it was worth it. Oh shit, it wasn't worth it. <laughs> oh. Jim <Gym> foul. <laughs> yeah. That wasn't ideal, was it? Yeah, I think I would have sent the blitzers forward and then uh, knocked down this Saurus and put some, you know, put some tackle zones on the ball. Hope to go two 0 up. And I, I think I would have still tried to foul the lineman there. I mean, I think this lineman could have fouled. And I think I would probably just try to, you know, if 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 you were going to make the play of the foul, I would have tried to get the foul in with the uh, with the lineman if possible because you do. Even though the sent off is like a one in eighteen chance, it still does happen. And uh, but yes, I think saving the bride for the second half was a was a good shout as well. But if he stays KO'd, it's, uh, it's not bad. Yeah, exactly. Evil Cornet. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure. That if, uh, that if lizards didn't already exist and someone suggested them, people would absolutely say, fuck up. No, I think fouling isn't bad at all, no. Um, but it's definitely not bad. It's 100% not bad. Um, the only question is if you want to take the risk. I mean, you know, you probably don't get... First of all, you probably don't get sent off anyway. You know, so you probably can foul and keep your bribe for the second half. Um, but of course, if you don't foul, you've definitely got your bribe for the second half. But I think I would have definitely, you know, put the pressure on the triangle or two and all. And as it happened, you might have had a chance. But then he might play it differently, though. Could have, uh, could have gone for a completion on one of the blitzes there. Could have run for him, done that for an extra star player point, maybe. Oh, he's back. They're both back. Oh, foul looks, uh, foul looks bad now. It's not worth. No, but you know, you you can't judge it by the results. That's that that's the fucking hard thing. It's like it's like poker, isn't it? <laughs> I remember somebody was heads up against my mate. Final two of the tournament, and he calls him with two three. This this idiot, <laughs> and then one, <laughs> and then my mate was like, "You fucking idiot! You literally couldn't get a worse hand than two three <laughs> heads up." <laughs> just calling is just fucking stupid. Why would you like? It's indefensible. Why would you do that? You fucking complete two, and he's like, 
won the hand though, didn't I? <laughs> and it's like as long like, as it worked. Yeah, that's the thing. You you know, just because the just because the foul didn't work, it doesn't make, mean it was wrong. But um, yeah, I still I would have liked to have just guaranteed had the buy for the second half. The thing with Lizardmen is, though, right, if they, if they weren't in the game and someone was like, we'll just have 6 4 one, 9 it's like, is there two more movement than Blackhawks and then basically the same agility? <laughs> Get out of town. I think Soros make Blackhawks look so bad. Oh, wow. York Throy, he's in. He's in there. Um... Yeah, unfortunately, the strength of lizards means that this kind of setup is something you might have to do sometimes. It's not easy to get the two Ds. It's what makes perfect defense against lizards so punishing. You've got to commit so much to the LOS to try and get two Ds and that. And then they just put PD, seven fucking guy, seven strength four plus guys on you. And it's a bad time. Should, should have had a Black Hawk in the, in the middle, though. Yeah. Now I guess you've just got to blitz the crocs, or yeah. Yeah, push is fine because then you can hit him with the other, the other black hole kind. Just how fantastic Jimmy is. Really fantastic. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that was a that was a costly mistake not having the black rock in the middle there. Also, I, I don't like getting too far forward here. Yeah, that's made a lot better because now it's it's comparatively less far forward having him out in front. <laughs> yeah, it was it was the right play. Yeah, because the power would have power could have chained him away. But um, yeah. That was that was the thing. It's it's and it's weird because it's the, as somebody on Fumble said, it's you don't lose the game because you roll one double one or whatever. It's the it's like the sum of all of the details every turn, which is which is very true, isn't it? So just saying, oh, I would have done this or whatever, um, you know, probably wouldn't have got in that situation because it would have made loads of different decisions every turn and stuff. So it gets more and more divergent, doesn't it? Yeah, that's true, it's cool dude. I mean definitely lizard men. Lizard men is 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 almost exactly what and Wood Elves as well, yeah, because of the war dancers. But I mean war dancers are ridiculous how many skills they they stacked onto them. I think Skaven answer that because Skaven needs some needs some development, don't they, to be uh, to be good. Even though they are obviously very min max once they get skills. Can punch a skink now maybe. I guess what I would have, what I would have done in the LOS there is probably just three black orcs. Block straight forward. Put out linemen to, to screen a bit. And keep the throw back. Because now by putting him forward, it's invited some pressure on, which has come. And uh, also these blitzers are now exposed and he's been able to man them up. With Saurus if he wants, he could, he could man him up. But he hasn't. But he could have done it. 
potential surf of a of a skink here. It looks very good. To be honest. Because I'm literally just standing him up two guys. Well, what? Oh wow. Hmm, <coughs> now it's not so good. <laughs> With the Soros getting in there. But still, standing up this blitzer and then Hey, there's not enough speed though, is there? Fuck. Yeah, this is a problem now, isn't it? <laughs> They're so strong and fast. They even have to, like, start that man down on turn one. And this black hole can stand up. That black hole can punch, and then you free up a black hole. But what does it even, what does it even do, freeing up this black hole? Could double GFI to surf the skink. Do you want to surf the skink? I mean, I could. I wouldn't hate it. I know. I would hate it, actually because you're under too much pressure from this source and stuff. I mean, isn't the plan just cast the skinks? Yeah, just kill the skinks. It's easy. <laughs> just kill. Maybe I should kill him. You could maybe just blitz the skink with the uh, with the blitzer for more chance of knocking him over. Or you could blitz with the thrower and hope to power him. And then if you do power him, you don't need to dodge away and then get the blitzer free. It's really it's really a horrible, horrible situation right now. Chain the ball out isn't isn't easy. Um really isn't easy to chain the ball out. When I say it isn't easy, it's probably impossible. <laughs> Got the pow, glorious. So yeah, that was pretty good. I don't really know where to move this or do it. No, it's it's not easy. Maybe it's just behind the uh, behind the black oak a little bit. And then you use the black oak. Um, with that free, I would go like two to the left. Oh, you stood up. This isn't so bad. You want to get that other blitzer in into the action. Who isn't based? Dodge just one blitzer out. Oh wait. Oh yeah, could have freed him up easy. Mm. Oh yeah, you could have been freedom up easy. Yeah, that black hole could have come in and now. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, actually, yeah, the free up was it was pretty easy. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Never mind. Um, this is looking horrible. You're gonna have to fucking do something. Um, probably dodge double GFI with that with Doctor Mama Bosco there to stand where you know he would be surfing the uh, the skink. This is horrible. This all just went wrong with that with that LOS, you know. And and then maybe he's going too too close. Um, after picking up, I didn't I didn't like going that close because it it invited the pressure on. If he just stayed back a bit, you couldn't have really done that. But yeah, it was it was actually really easy to uh, to free him up. I mean, having said that. You know, you're only 55% to actually get, but this was this play was worse percent to free. Yeah, that was the thing. It was just too easy for me to get the 2D on the ball. Hmm. This is throw out of Hill Mary. It would help, wouldn't it? Yeah, actually, it actually was easy. But, uh... oh. oh, tits. <laughs> well, the good thing is he's probably not going to get the, the ball this turn. Oh. Just out of range of the skins, isn't it? 
GFI Yeah, so I think it was I think it was the setup on the LOS in the first turn, wasn't it? It was just even though the dice were okay. Um I think the play was definitely just three blocks straight forward. Spread people out, like screen out and keep the ball back safe. And then instead I agree now that I look back on it. Yeah. Yeah, that's something to think. I mean, it's hard. It's hard. It's. I think it's really hard. The whole, the whole coaching thing, like of what would make, what would be the best format, and what's the best way to do it and stuff. Um, you might just stay there because it's two dice without block, or a four plus to hit with block. But I think he's got to make blocks with you. Oh, he's gonna throw it. He bucket passes it. Wow, what a madman! Alright, so first thing is pick up the base, all of the base players I guess, um, you know, I like putting the blitz uh, in between the skink and the end zone, that one there, the other blitz, Johnny Five's just got to go somewhere, ah, Johnny Five wants to tag the Saurus. Mark Schlurfer, <laughs> so that when you dodge away with Keefe 85, you'll still be based. Um, because you know, you've, you've got to keep fucking Saurus based up, otherwise, otherwise, they're terrors, aren't they? He did pass yesterday, oh, yeah, he made he made a man and pass, so it's just dodge, dodge to blitz now, isn't it? And then you can obviously blitz from the left side so that the push clears the tackle zone. But scary stuff, I don't think there's anything else to do apart from that. Roll better! Yeah, roll better. There you go. Well... Kinda have to pick it up? Yeah, have to, have to, yeah. Have to, had to try! <laughs> He was an orc thrower. Oh. Yeah, the, the orc thrower, though, the push wouldn't have been enough for the orc thrower, would it? He would have had to then dodge, so. Um, and he wouldn't have had the movement, and he couldn't have cleared it all, all the ball, so yeah. Unfortunately, that is the thing with the orc. Another weakness of the orc thrower there, he just can't be in the right place when he needs his sure hands, can he? It's. Gotta get two of them. Yeah. Gotta get. <laughs> you just gotta. <laughs> oh man. This is reroll. Yeah. Yeah, double skull. The double skulls. Well, I mean, you might just go for the. He can blitz here, can't he? He's freed up the other skink now, so just a 2D for a push. And then 3 plus to score. Still a chance to win. Right, so now definitely need the uh, Black Hawk in the centre. No, he's setting up first, right? A 
accomplish that. Yeah, and I would put uh, I would put the the guys, you know, who are diagonally back. Put them, put them forward diagonally one, so that you know they're making like a kind of proper screen. I would like to take them in one. The the Tony plays poorly, and Keithy eighty five put them, you know, like one left and one right respectively, so that they're yeah. So then you've got more. I'm learning so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, good. I mean, you could even you could even use. No, no, you don't have. No, you don't have players. That, that's that's okay. Oh shit. That was the bad thing about putting the blitzes on the LOS. I actually, <laughs> I think the pl the blitzes on the LOS probably wasn't good, but putting them across like that was good. But yeah, the, now he's going to stick Saurus on the LOS here, which is going to be bad times. Perfect defense against lizards is horrible. Like it's so hard. They get the most out of perfect defense from any team, don't they? Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't do that to the perfect D, but I thought. We run out of time and I thought, do you know what, don't want to micromanage everything. Wow, that was crazy by him, I think. Crazy stuff. So now this is this is really cool because you can just obviously um you know bring an assist in, block with a black orc. Blitz uh, block block both of those guys, just bring people in. Should be able to block down five players now. I just, I just pushed away there. Um, and I see that now. Yeah, because now he's just given up a free block. So you've got two options here. You could, you could bring in the blitzer and the lineman just to assist the lineman's two dice block. Or you could bring in a lineman and blitz with a blitzer, which would only give you one dice. But it would give you like a better position overall um, if it worked, because it would, you know, I'd probably be greedy and go for the one dice. Only one reroll though, so it's risky. Hmm. It's up. Glorious. Now you can move him like back two or three near the ball. Forgot the plot. Oh, I wouldn't have done the pickup yet. Um, <laughs> wouldn't have done the pickup because you've got two Ds that you can reroll. See, like that's a one in nine to end your turn. The two Ds are only one in eighty-one. So. That failure state is, yeah, it's pretty bad. You can bl block him, crack things here. This, uh... Unlucky to one in nine to pick up, but I would have rather made two Ds first. On stream jitters, I forgot to block. Mm. Yeah, the, these uh, Black Hawk could have could have blocked the Saurus, Black Hawk could have blocked the Crocs and then could have moved the Splitter across a bit to cover for obviously even just both basing that same Saurus would have at least protected him a bit. Oh, I scattered the ball for you, that was nice. <laughs> You can minimise the impact of, of perfect defence Harry Koo, yeah, but against Lizards, it's really fucking hard because you've got to commit so much to the LOS to, to you know, hit their, hit down their fucking strength 4 and 5. So it's, um, 
Yeah. You can't lose the game directly to a turn one perfect defense, but you can. Um, it can certainly be massively, massively influential to the point of almost winning the game. Yeah, exactly, Jelly Oh, yeah. You could have a Claw Pommer blitzed and killed. Now, obviously, you can argue that you shouldn't leave your Claw Pommer blitzable on a perfect defense. That's not a perfect defense. <laughs> Alright, so a perfect defense, yeah, just guard lock and put them. But yeah, in general, perfect defense. Yeah, you can, you can't, obviously, you, you can plan against Blitz and minimize the impact. But, um, it's still not good when it fucks you, is it? But yeah, obviously, the, the, the guys, the guys on the, on the other should have been on the other ones. Um, but it was just, a. it's hard to, again, say stuff over the internet, isn't it? It's like, on Discord, it's... I was, they were, they were here and here, if you can see the stream last Frogman. Um... They were here and here, and I was just trying to get this guy over here. Um, but instead, they both moved up one, and then only moved one back, and then I thought, the others on the LOS won't be so bad, but yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't, you know, I was just fucked in it. It's so hard, like, how do you just kill the skinks? Do you know what I mean? It's so fucking dumb. <laughs> I hate that so much, just kill the skinks. Um, that was the right block, I think. But of course, back to got to re-roll it because it's game over if, if that's blocked down. Oh god, it's game over. So there you go, there's the, there's the one in here you want, for fuck's sake. Um, I think that was the play though, to, to get the blitz on the uh, skink here and then pick up the ball. But wow. Wow, that's, uh, that's probably game over, isn't it? Maybe not. He might, he might find a way to fuck it up, this guy. Okay, now he's got it. Muffled to death. Yeah, that's pretty bad. 1 in 9 in a pickup, then 1 in 81 on the next block. That's, uh, that's pretty horrible. It's true that the opponent has no rerolls, but neither do we, and he's about to pick up the ball with a skink and run eight squares away <laughs> against Ox. So, um, <laughs> yeah, it's not, not looking the best. <laughs> he's, that was a good move by him there. That's exactly where I would have moved with that skin. Could maybe even pick up with this game to make to leave that one there. Okay, the pickup. Oh. Oh, and that's even that's even given us a chance there. Oh. Um. Is this a black orc? Could go for a. Well, first of all, stand up. The uh, black orc and the blitter on the LOS. Could go for this black orc blitzing a. Uh, Blitzing a skink to get the scatter and maybe powering him and getting a scatter. That could be an idea. Um, the alternative would be standing up the thrower, making a two dice with the black orc onto the Saurus, hopefully powering him, and then three dice blitzing the skink and then dodging out a blitzer to try and make a pickup. Um, yeah, but it's it's not looking good still. <laughs> Tough one. It is tough. You really don't want to have to stay. Like, obviously, you want to make the pickup with your with a with a sure hands, dude. But then, on the other hand, it's just really good to stand him up and two dice the same. The swords. I think I I think I would stand up the thrower and uh, block with a black hole. To be honest, that's what I would do. But then I wouldn't have had a throw in the first place. <laughs> yeah, throw stand up safer, yeah, exactly. You'd have two, of course. Yeah. <laughs> ah, that's a good pal. Maybe I should have scattered the ball. 
Mm, yeah, maybe before the blitz. Yeah, maybe because now it's it's gonna have to get scattered here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else you can do apart from scatter it, really. But a three dicing a skink is good, though, isn't it? Powered him as well. Stand him. Oh, just kill the skink. Need to catch the ball. <laughs> so now... <laughs> this is just horrible because it's like... Yeah, you got to clean. You got to make two dodges with with blitzers, haven't you? Somehow. So I guess you've got to dodge the nearest one first because then you can actually reach to pick it up. Oh, that's fucking horrible. Also, means his skin is still going to make a dodge to get free from there. Yeah, it is just clinging desperately to the draw. <laughs> Could just fail the pickup for three turns. Yep, and that's a very good point by Wolfpack. This is why you need to try to conserve rerolls. Yeah, I mean, the the one in eighty one was unfortunate because it had to. That one had to be rerolled. I don't know about the other, what the other two rerolls were this half. To be honest, um, was one of double skulls. But yeah, reroll, reroll, conservation slash management is uh, is definitely one of the bigger things to get a handle on. Team throat is both gold though. <laughs> yeah, that's a shame after the after the glorious first half of um, turning them over into. Playing orcs versus lizard men in the second half. <laughs> Hopefully, there's some positives to take away, though, with the, uh, you know, the ordering. That was called. Good. Yeah. No, it's not good. <laughs> I don't think there's any good moves here. Um, this fucking skink there. <sighs> Rough. Just cast the skinks. Just cast the skinks, that's all, it's easy. All you can do here really is 4 plus 3 plus dodge without blitzer to hit the ball. Because everything else is just dice that might fail, you know? That 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 blitzer there near the crocs. Oh god, it's a fucking crocs, he's near the crocs as well. So it's a fucking 5 plus 3 plus dodge. And then a GFI to hit the ball. There's, there's just no other. Ah, so maybe the blit, the cap, the blitz has got the blah. Lyman's got to do it. The Lyman's just got a three yeah. plus dodge, double GFI, and, and obviously accept the both down. Blot. Blots. Need a blots. Glorious. <laughs> <laughs> Just cast the skinks. It's all gravy after that. <laughs> Thank you very much, VIP Sleeper Zip. Subscribe for eight months in a row. Thanks for staying fantastic. <laughs> yeah, reroll conservation is good, just not Jimmy's level of conservation. Yeah, that's fair enough, Jimmy. Yeah. Maybe I am tighter than a nun's you know what those rules yeah, yeah, just dodge with the line. In fact, didn't even need to dodge with the Lino. What would have been better than dodging with the Lino was before you made that block of the Black Orc, the Blitzer could have one diced the uh, Saurus, which would have obviously been a 2 plus roll instead of a 3 plus. So, um. Yeah, it's been impressive, Carl Ancelotti. It's been impressive. Um, the, how you lose is because he's got a fucking Lizard Man team. <laughs> it's 
just it's just ridiculous. So as it turns out, my uh, my advice at the start of the match of just come see and save yourself an hour and a half. Of your life. <laughs> Spot on the money. Um, <laughs> You know, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's tough because they've got so much strength, and they can. So how does one one turn? Oh yeah, uh, I, I don't even know how to do it, especially with ten men. No, nine men. No, I don't think it's possible. Um, set up in case of a riot, I guess. It's uh, yeah, seven strength four is how you lose exactly. It's they're just brutal, and on defense. You know, when you're playing on defense, it's it's not as hard because they've got to protect the ball, and and they've got four skinks on on offense that they want to do stuff with. But when they're on defense, they've just got a wall of strength four and, and five, and you know they just cause you problems because you've got to protect the ball, and so that that's where the problem comes in. You protecting the ball against all these strength four and five guys. And then also these skinks can just run in gaps and get the ball and everything. It's so hard. Offense against lizard men is way harder than defense against lizard men, which is why I often kick with lizard men, just because I think it's easier for me to play defense with lizard men than offense with lizard men. So yeah, quick snap as well. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. All they need to do is just man you with that strength, and you're like, what the fuck do I do? You can with lizard men if you have an um, eleven. Oh, there you go. You played well last round. You should be encouraged. Full P's in Coulter. Uh, the uh, an, another super VIP. Just quietly. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it was just a few things, wasn't it? It was a few things like having to blitz the Crocs and stuff. You know, put more trouble on. Maybe moved a bit close up to the line there, and then obviously the the fucking perfect defense didn't help. But then it was a one in nine pickup into a one in eighty one block next action. It was horrible. And you have to block with a black orcs against the lizard men because they're all fucking strength four. <laughs> you know? So it's like it's just hard. They are hard. They're a hard fucking team, lizard men. They really are. Especially against I never feel like orcs have got whenever I'm using lizard men, I never feel like any orc team has got a chance against me. It just seems like so easy. And obviously chaos are. It's not even it's not even a game against chaos. <laughs> you're not even playing Blood Bowl, you just you're just waiting to win 2-0. <laughs> um So there you go. Is that the black orc that got sent off? Probably. <laughs> oh no, it was a blitzer got sent off, wasn't it? No, that, that that didn't help play. Like. But and that was unlucky as well, wasn't it? That was a one in eighteen chance. So um yeah, one K Lizzie's just completely counter rocks, yeah. They can counter almost everyone at 1k, yeah. That's true, yeah. Yeah, nitpicky errors and a few larger strategic errors, but not as severe as a lizard man's mistakes. Yeah, that's fair. That's, f that's fair from Squirrel Dude. Um, just quit trying to be play, be good at Blood Bowl and play lizards. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, Dwarves and Chores don't... Team. Sorry? Lizard, my next team. Yeah, it could be, could be. It's what Senai started with. Um, they're very, they're very, they're very, very powerful. I mean, it it just depends what you like. At the end of the day, I think orcs are better for, for you know, getting there, because because they're slow and unagile. Some of them are low agile, and they're all pretty low slow movement. When you fuck up, you can see like, oh look, if I hadn't moved that guy over there last turn, he'd be able to get there, but he can't this turn because he's slow. Whereas if you're losing lizard men, you're like. I just move this guy here, <laughs> and it just doesn't matter what you've done last turn because you can get there. So I think I think that being slow is actually a bonus for like kind of getting better. Um, but yeah, dwarves and shorts don't count them because yeah, being down strength with bash is an absolute horror. Anyway, so hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed that those two games and got something out of it, last frogman. Um, and uh, thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. Stay fantastic.